let's talk about global workgroups. The full replication model uh, essentially overcomes bandwidth issues and latency issues by connecting the globe, connecting all of these work groups and work sites uh, with one another and behind the scenes uh, balancing out and, and uh, synchronizing files, synchronizing metadata as necessary. Uh, this is built into the product so it should be uh, noted that all of this is directly within um, Autodesk uh, Vault collaboration and professional uh, out of the box. All you have to do is go in and wake it up and configure it. The replication model supports both uh, you know, individual WAN access, file store replication, and full workgroup and a combination. So in the, in the image here we have this hub and spoke model. We have the ability to take this data and scale up as a site needs it. So perhaps a site starts off with just file store replication but they start adding users well, we can easily promote them up to being uh, a full replicated site as business demand increases. So uh, another way to put this so a publisher so we can have a, a, a main site and we can actually have a remote site off of that have another site subscribe to it have have sites uh, based off of that and again we can go big with this we can go completely global and what we do is we call these work groups. These are a uh, collection of users and, and collection of data. So work groups um, A through E here show us how we're all tapping from the same well. This is essentially one big vault. And behind the scenes, we'll go in and uh, configure it. Now let's talk about, well, you know, you have global. So it would almost seem like, well, what happens when everybody's on? And, and uh, how do you manage conflicts, two people trying to do the same thing at the same time. We have a management built in um, to manage this by going and claiming uh, ownership to a particular folder or set of files or a portion of the vault and this says well I'm, I'm going to be working with this during my workday and, and this, this prevents the um, conflict resolution that we might realize um, if this was just wide open. So uh, we add in this ability to carefully control who does what and this is by work groups so per the previous slide where we had work groups A through E they would lay claim to their own set of folders or files and data inside of the vault and uh, this eliminates the concern of uh, conflicts and it actually gets in front of having to go in and resolve uh, conflicts. This will show up inside of the, uh, the application actually show well who owns it so inside of Vault we message to the user and even inside of Inventor we message to them to the user who has it and we can take ownership here and new inside of 2012 we can take ownership from within all of the CAD products. This improves the communication across the global team anytime you were to go in either from uh, inside of CAD or inside of Vault and be able to see the updated information. There's also changes made to the console side of things and the console again nothing really changes here when we wake up and we enable connected work groups uh, we've made some changes uh, slight changes inside of the Autodesk data management server so if you are working with a customer or you decide to show this it shows you know we have work groups and we can see all of the other sites from within one server and this is uh, the idea is to uh, be one vault have one central source so in summary, what have we seen? We've, we've essentially seen uh, Vault's, uh, Vault's ability to handle more than just CAD. Uh, we can handle Office documents, and now with the Outlook integration, it's truly becoming the central, the one source for all of the data uh, inside of the Vault, including those non-CAD access users. So through the web client, through SharePoint, and, uh, and, and other means we can extend the power of Vault. We can get Vault information to more people than uh, just CAD users. Through the project dashboard, we're able to run a report and show this. This might be something that you share with people that are completely outside of the scope of Vault just to show them a status update. We've also seen that as your, uh, as your customers' needs uh, grow, that Vault is there to grow with them. They don't need to do over. They don't need to uh, do anything uh, 
you know, set up separate independent silos, we can take this vault and uh, scale it up and go global.